Okay, hello everybody that is going to be watching this. This is a video on how to take out your hard drive of your 1999 iMac G3. Now, so the first thing you do is you take off your bottom case. Um, it's set on like this. It's held on by two screws right here. And then you have to take off this little uh, cover that covers your uh, external monitor port. And there are two screws that go right here. So then you gently take that off. You just sit aside. Now once you get here, you're going to have to take off this metal piece that covers your logic board. So as you can see, um, there, there are uh, screw slots right here. So depending on how many slots there are, or how many screws you have, you just take them off. And then you take off the front, like that, and then you slide it out, because the monitor port is uh, wedged in to the hole. So you can't just take it off like that. So after you do that, okay, hold on, let me think for a second. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, there's uh, something that I did do that I should have not done. Because now there are two screws here. Okay, never mind. I'll just worry about that when I put it back together. But anyway, so now you can see the entire computer. You can see the power button. These lovely speakers that are going to soon experience major dry rot. <laughs> and then your logic board with however many gigs of RAM I have. Or 700 megabytes approximately. So anyway, next thing you do is you move all this junky stuff out of the way. You remove your RAMs, set them aside, and then you disconnect your hard drive. Then you unscrew it from the two from the four screws that are here, two here here. You might want to use a screwdriver since um, these are all Phillips heads. But they are screwed on very tight depending on what type of screwdriver you have. So you take it off like that. Doing your best not to strip the screws. Okay, that screw is a little angry. Let me go ahead and uh, remove the other three screws. To not do, to not try to do what I just did there. Oh, there it is. It's a stuck in that small hole right there. So I need to. Seems to be a very tough screw. Maybe this one will help. Oh, that is a very good tough screw. Okay. Interesting enough. Well, that screw just flat doesn't like me. Another screwdriver over here. Hopefully this one might help. It's too big, probably. Of course it is. Okay. I need to figure out what type of screwdriver I use there. This is a very, very... Like, these screws in general are very tight. And very hard to take out. 
Now if you partially strip them, you're in for a major load of bad luck. I don't know where all my screwdrivers are. Mm, here's one. Oh, this is this is a uh, Phillips head. Of course it doesn't work. See that? Yeah, Phillips head. Camera doesn't focus. Yeah. So here's another one. This one might actually work. Flathead though. Maybe if you actually could hold the handle, it would work. My desk full of junk. Now it's time for the multi-tooled knife set thingy, whatever you want to call this thing. This won't work. Oh, this might work. Video bag line. Oh, let's try this first. Okay. Ah, there you go. Help provided by the Gerber multi knife. Multi tool, whatever you want to call these things. You successfully unscrew that one. And then you just slide your hard drive out. Your lovely Western Digital Apple hard drive, 10 gigabytes, with OSX Tiger on it. And now you just wait for your other hard drive that's who knows where, while having your iMac in pieces on your desk in the way. So thank you for watching this very short video, and stay tuned for when I reinstall the other hard drive that I get, which will have OS X 9.2 on it, but it does come with Microsoft Office, so that's a total, total win for me, but anyway, thanks for watching.